How come these enemies don't run? I mean, I get that the original Plagas didn't run as well. I mean, this guy does like short bursts of speed though. So it's weird how he's not... And that doesn't even knock him over. It's, it's so stupid and that now he's deciding to run. But for some reason you can't knock him over when he runs because this class isn't an attack animation. <laughs> So even when the enemies are actually running during an attack animation, it doesn't knock them over. Like, they have to be in a neutral state, and they have to be sprinting in order for them to actually get knocked over when you shoot them in the leg. But of course, this is on standard difficulty, and they'll remove that mechanic on the highest difficulty, because they clearly show with Mad Chainsaw Mode that they don't care about flinch animations at all. And that lack of care just shows a, a lack of confidence in their enemy types being lethal and so they have to favor the most artificial routes possible that's why they opted for this where you have to focus your reticle to guarantee a stun apparently but on man chainsaw mode it's inconsistent still even when you focus your reticle like this and i don't even understand why they're favoring this kind of focus system with the reticle this doesn't complement the faster paced nature of resident evil 4 not to mention, like, even the slightest movement of your camera is enough to throw off your aim, and it removes the focus for some reason. I mean, why is it so strict? And why would you tie flinch animations to this kind of gamey system of aiming? What does focusing your reticle have to do with actually getting a stun or not? It's almost about as absurd as in Resident Evil Village, where doing the the counter against the Lycan, where you hit them in the head, they flinch, and then they lunge at you to grab you, and then you knock them back when they do grab you. If you're higher in your elevation compared to the Lycan, or you're just in a plane, like a, you're on a flat space, that doesn't allow the counter to be triggered, it never triggers. So why the hell does elevation have to be a factor to consider when you're talking about a bullet hitting an enemy in the head. How does the elevation change the way they respond to the shot? That makes no fucking sense. And even the slightest change in your elevation is enough for the counter to not trigger against the Lycan whatsoever. And pretty much apropos of this is the reticle system that they're favoring with Resident Evil 4 Remake, and how it directly ties in to the stuns generated on enemies. I'm like, you, you don't have time to focus your reticle because you're constantly running away all the time, not to mention the enemies could be throwing axes, and so you have to crouch and, or deflect the, the projectiles. I mean, when are you ever going to get the opportunity to use this focus mechanic? And again, this mechanic doesn't complement the faster-paced nature of Resident Evil 4 Remake. It makes no fucking sense at all. Also, I can't believe I didn't realize it sooner, but you know, they don't rearrange the ammunition whatsoever on Mad Chainsaw mode. So most likely the highest difficulty of the final game will have the same thing where you're going to be working with the same resources on every single difficulty. And it's going to be just as bad as Villager Shadow's difficulty from Resident Evil Village. Villager Shadow's difficulty feels more balanced than this mode. But that's not really saying much. Because you spend more time just running past the enemies and using exploits and actually indulging with the game. So can you really say that Villager Shadow's is better designed than this in that aspect? If by being better designed, you have to neglect so many of the mechanics at play. And see, like, how how the fuck do you... Like, how the hell do you crouch under that at that speed? It's physically impossible. Seriously? How is that good? I broke out of the grab, and he's still running in there to do the punch that in this animation was only triggered because the game thought I was still grabbed by him. I had no chance to react or anything. It's so stupid.
That was close. Okay, so you can avoid being put into a death animation if you're on a ladder when you get hit? Come on. I, I don't understand. What caused him to get stunned just then? Like, why is it so inconsistent? Does damaging him in his neutral state actually contribute to damage to the stun HP? But when he's in any other animation, like mantling through a window or just being on a ladder, if you shoot him during those moments, his stun HP doesn't decrease or you're decreasing a separate stun HP bar? Like, it makes no fucking sense. The stuns on this guy are so inconsistent. And it just leads to a clunky, uncoordinated mess. Just running all over the place like a headless chicken. Just trying to get him into positions where you can fucking shoot him. And this is somehow suitable for a hardest difficulty? Where is the challenge here? I don't see a legitimate challenge with this fucking difficulty. Yeah, th this is the most insulting remake out of the Resident Evil remakes. Like, Resident Evil 1 remake was one-to-one -one with the original Resident Evil pretty much. Resident Evil 2 Remake, not really anything different between the two. Resident Evil 3 Remake. Can't really say anything about that one as well. But this one, it's like the polar opposite of Resident Evil 4 OG. It's like they didn't even remake Resident Evil 4, they just made a completely separate game. I don't see the identity of Resident Evil 4 here. Just mechanically, nothing resembles Resident Evil 4. All I see is just this hodgepodge of broken designs. Ill-fitting mentalities, just the most inhuman mentalities ever. And just a game that seems to make fun of itself. Like the developers are just not taking this game seriously at all. They're turning everything into a fucking joke. Like with this mad chainsaw mode where everything never flinches. Everything has so much life. The gameplay just completely falls apart. They're not using any of the so-called new mechanics that this game offers. Because doing so just puts you in a bad position. You're having to be so reliant upon gamey designs. Just arcadey designs, just gaming the system, relying upon exploits. All sorts of dumb things. What? They can hit you when you're jumping down? Why? Why is that a thing? Are you fucking kidding me? That was a point-blank shotgun blast, and he just ran right through it and grabbed me. Unbelievable. How the hell does that get past Q&A? It's bullshit. Oh, come on! Such bullshit! You have no chance of defending yourself against enemies that don't have weapons. Cause they just push you, and then they just like punch you and grab you on this difficulty, or when they just push you, they just grab you, and you can't dodge it, because you can't crouch, because the grabs are so badly designed in this game, it makes no sense why you can't deflect them, it's no different just being punched, they're just holding their arms out! And when you deflect a punch, Leon cuts off the arm, why can't he do the same with the grabs? All it takes! It's just one moment where the enemies just punish you during an animation out of the blue and you just get killed. It's so fucking dependent upon luck. For the dumbest reasons ever. Because the grabs have no logic with how they're designed.